Hi, in the previous video we talked about sending letters to houses that are for sale with other agents and now I'm going to talk about sending postcards and I believe postcards is completely different to letters because I know some people um, don't open letters or don't read the letters uh, whereas a postcard sometimes you can say you can get a message across very quickly with a picture on the front and a few words on the back and uh, you don't have to open an envelope and it's often just sitting there on the side so I think postcards are very very good and there's three postcards I want to talk to you about today the first one is uh, what I call either when I put a house on the market I always do a new to the market postcard or um, an open house invitation so I tend to just do open houses so I want to invite all the people that are selling in the area to my open house and the best way to do that is send them a postcard and uh, it says you are cordially invited to this open house um, but what I don't, if you just put I thought you might be interested in buying this house the chances are they'll look at it and go well no I'm not interested in buying that house I'm looking at moving to a different area or a different type of property so the wording is very important so I don't put um, I thought you might be interested in this house I put something along these lines you're invited to the open house because I, uh, you may be interested in buying this house or you may have a family member, a friend or a work colleague who may be interested in buying this house. So that way, if they're not interested, they might think, oh, I wonder if that guy at work would be interested in this or one of my, my you know, uh, brother or sister or family member or one of my friends might be interested. It gets them being open-minded to, to thinking of anyone else. So the good thing is they might be interested in buying it or they might know someone who'd be interested in buying it. But then the next, the next sentence says, um, or you may be interested in finding out more about our open house strategy, our, our open house marketing strategy. And then it will go on to about the benefits of our open house. So it says the benefits of our open house are one, best price because we get multiple bidders, two, convenience because all the viewings are on one day, and three, certainty because we have an 87% success rate. So if you'd like to know more about our open house marketing strategy, please call me on this number, email me, or come along to the open house on such and such a date and such and such a time. And then there'll be a lot of people that you've invited. So you might have invited, I don't know, 150 houses that are for sale with other estate agents to come to your open house. Some might be interested in the house, but they'll come along anyway. But some of them might not be interested in the house, but might just come along to see what this open house thing's all about. And so if 10 of them, say that you've written out, sent out 150 postcards, if just 10 of them come along and there's 20 people looking around that house, you've got 20 viewings, some of them are going to go, wow, look at all these people viewing this house. They've got 20 viewings. We haven't had 20 viewings in the last six months. Maybe we need to speak to this agent and find out how they do it. So it's a great way to generate market appraisals from those uh, sellers. Now, some of them might not even turn up, but at least they know you're doing an open house. And that brings me on to the next postcard, which you can send out, which is a sold in your area postcard. So a few weeks later, later they'll get another postcard that's saying, you know, we sold this house. Um, the important thing is that we don't just say we've sold the house. We put a, a story behind it. We put some information about the property. So, so all the houses that for sale with other agents, they'll get a postcard, to let, them, to let them know we have sold um, a property and how we sold the property. So it could be that we had a social media marketing strategy and we had a, you know, 5,000 people view the video on Facebook or we had an open house and we had 23 people view, uh, we had five offers and we sold it for over the asking price or um, some other strategy or some other system. But you know, we, we could say that house was on the market with another agent for three to four months and they had, had um, only three viewings or no viewings. We put it on the market, had this number of viewings and sold it, uh, and we sold it um, for above the asking price. So put a story and people think, oh, well, they, those people sound like they're in the same position as us. You know, we haven't sold ours, it's on one other agent, maybe we need to change. So a great thing, a great way is to do a sold in your area postcard. And actually, I want to go back to the new to the market postcards or the open house postcards. When you send those out, even if they don't attend the open house, they're probably going to think, I wonder if my estate agent sends a postcard out you know, to potential buyers for my house. And the answer is no. So it will get them thinking about you and uh, more likely to call you. And, uh, and then the third postcard that I would send out is what I call a monthly USP postcard. So you could send that out on the first of every month or the 15th of every month to all the houses that are for sale with other agents. But something that you can offer that other agents can't. So it could be that you do 
videos on properties, so mention that you do videos. The next postcard might be that you're part of a network of so many offices, or it could be um, that you do a social media marketing strategy, or that you do an open house strategy, or whatever your USPs are. You know, what are the four things that you do differently to other estate agents in your town? Um, and if you can't think of those, well, obviously that's a problem. Um, and if you can, do four different postcards or five or six different postcards and you send one out every month to all the houses for sale with other agents and you do that consistently and you do that for four months and then just rotate and start again. So hopefully you found that useful. There's four, uh, three main postcards, new to the market or, um, sorry, or open house uh, postcards. That's, you know, do one or the other. <clears throat> the second thing is sold in your area postcards to all the houses for sale uh, with other agents and then your monthly USP uh, postcard. And the interesting thing is that there's also things called social proof. If someone sees that you are putting another house on the market and they get a postcard, then they see you put another house on the market, get another postcard, and they're thinking, well, this agent, a lot of people seem to be using to sell their house. Maybe I should be using them. And then they keep saying, oh, they've sold it. Oh, they've sold another, they've sold another. So that's social proof that you're selling lots of properties. Now, the agent they're with might sell just as many properties but they don't get to hear from their current agent, say, oh, we've just sold another one, we've just sold another one, but they're hearing from you saying we've sold another, sold another. So make sure you're letting your potential future business, those active sellers who are on the market with other agents, let them know that you're getting lots of new listings, you're getting lots of sales, and you've got some USPs that their agent isn't offering, and that will help you get more quality market appraisals. Hope you found that useful, and I'll see you in the next video.